Consumer Reports is an independent, nonprofit organization that gathers consumer information and conducts unbiased testing and reviews of products. The library subscribes to Consumer Reports online for library users. Anyone using a library computer or a device connected to the East Greenwich Library's network can access this resource. In addition, residents of East Greenwich and Skodak can access it using their library barcode from home. The link can be found at eglibrary.org digital in the subject section. If you're on our main page, you want to scroll down until you see digital, click on see all digital resources, and then scroll down to subjects and here is Consumer Reports. If you're not on a library network, you'll be prompted to enter your library card number. So you want to type that in. The main Consumer Reports page has a navigation bar, which is this up here. On smaller screens, it may be under a hamburger icon menu, which is the three lines, a site search, and link to an A to Z product list. Many folks think of Consumer Reports as a site for reviews. But other items in the menu include a link to deals, which is up top here, and an area that features news about consumer products, including product recalls. Below the navigation menu in the search, you'll see the featured area. They often have a featured article here and different ones over on the side. You want to keep scrolling for a list of links to information about popular products. So here you see air conditioners, coffee makers, things like that. Whenever you click on a specific category or item, so say we click on air conditioners, up on the top it has um, breadcrumbs that will lead you back to the category. Um, so here you see appliances is the main category of the air conditioners. If you want to get back to the page where you just were, you can either hit the back button or click on Consumer Reports in the corner. Unlike some of our other digital services, it is not possible to create an individual account or modify preferences, including feeds, on ConsumerReports.org. Please note that this makes it impossible to use the Consumer Reports app, as that requires individual email lo account login information, and it is unable to allow access based on our network address. You can, however, sign up for their Shop Smart newsletter on the Deals page. So if we were to click on Deals and Get Weekly Deals, you could enter your information and they would send you um, the newsletter that has weekly deals. On a product page, you may just find a single article, like baby food for instance, or you may find a product page with a submenu leading to a different types of information about that product, like all-purpose cleaners. So if we were to go back to the main page and click on a particular category, so here we can click on dishwashers, and it has the dishwasher buying guide, um, there's different videos about how to use your dishwasher the best way, and then the re ones that they recommend. And then underneath, um, related to appliances, they have certain deals, um, and then there's things about toaster ovens and things like that. If you select ratings from the submenu of a product page, you will be presented with a list of the product models and an easy to read color coded list of ratings information in descending order from the highest to lowest rating. So if we were to click on dishwasher ratings, you'll see that they've um, rated all the different models of dishwashers and they give it a score and there's predictive reliability, washing, drying, and energy use. It will be different depending on the type of product. You can use the filters at the top of each ratings page to customize your view. The more filters area content will change depending on the type of product you're looking at. For example, we're in the dishwasher section, so if we click on more filters, here you can see they've got ample flatware slots, adjustable upper rack, self-cleaning filter, and more. These things will change depending on the type of product that you're looking at. You can also filter by category, price, brands, what they're rated best for, which will also change depending on the type of product. And you can choose to sort um, by the overall score, the price, or the brand. If you'd like to save even more time, you can toggle the CR Recommended button to help weed out low-scoring items. Now if you click on the Buying Guide section, that can be used to educate yourself on the products 
background, options, and what to look for when shopping for that product, including variables that may or may not be important in your use case. There will also be a list of brands that make that product with a bit of info about it. Buying guides also often include helpful videos to demonstrate the buying guide concepts. So here's the dishwasher buying guide. They give you how, uh, information about how they tested the dishwashers, um, how they do their ratings, the different brands they use, how to choose which one you're looking for, and the pricing and things like that. So each category will have um, different buying guides. If you go to the, say that we went back to appliances and we wanted to look at a different type of appliance, we wanted to see dehumidifiers. If you go to the um, dehumidifiers ratings, and you can see that they have different ones here, um, water removal, energy efficiency, and things like that. If you go to the buying guide, um, this gives you more information about dehumidifiers, how they test them, and things like that. So each category will have its own buying guide with uh, tips about how to pick out the best product that you're looking for. As you can see, Consumer Reports has all sorts of product reviews about all different kinds of items. It can be very helpful if you're looking to buy a specific item. If you have more questions on how to use the Consumer Reports database, please contact the library.